do you use your iPad only for finding dates on Tinder and uploading pictures on social media like me? But when it comes to writing my thesis document or doing software programming, I turn up to my desktop computer. iPad isn't a bad machine. It has got 2 GB RAM and a quite powerful processor. But why do I use desktop computer? The reason is because on a desktop computer, I get more control. I have a lot of input devices. I have mouse, I have keyboard, I have joystick. And on an iPad, all I've got is touch. So the way we interact is using our fingers. On, the only two input methods is uh, tapping, or you can do a swipe. The goal of my research is to improve the interaction on an iPad, make it more productive, give you more control as an end user f uh, uh, in an iPad. So I, in my research, I found out that uh, beneath the screen of the iPad, there's a sensor which can tell you the contact area of the finger touch. When you touch on the screen, you certainly take up some area, right? That's contact area I'm talking about. So we wrote an algorithm which uses that contact area to find out, of the, find out the shape of the finger touch. So if I use the pad of, pad of the finger and tap like this, so the algorithm tells me it's a fat oval. If I tap the screen with the side of the finger, which is thinner than the pad, it gives me narrow oval. And if I tap like this with the fingertip, it gives me a round or a circle shape. So our algorithm gives shape, and not only shapes, it tells me at what angle I tap on the screen. Like, if I tap like this, it's a vertical tap. So the angle is zero degree because it's actually parallel to the edge of the screen, right? So this we call vertical orientation or a zero orientation tap. This is, let's say, 45 degree plus. This is a right oriented, a right -oriented tap. This is left oriented, let's say minus 45 degree. So now we have our algorithm is giving us three types of shapes and orientations. Now we can transform our simple swipes and taps into multiple types of ta taps and swipes and have multiple input modes like we have in desktop computers. So this gives us more control over the machine, gives us more, uh, it, it makes the interaction more expressive. And then I'm sure. I'm sure that this will not help you replace your iPad with a desktop computer, but it will certainly help you do more than uh, finding dates on Twitter. Uh, now, in this, if you tap like this, this is a different thing. If you tap like this, this is a different thing. If you tap like this, it's a different thing. So we have more than one way to interact with iPad. Thank you very much.